Well, here we are, messy suitcase going on another adventure. We're here at the Boston Airport and uh, we're flying uh, Air Portugal. Uh, I will be going to Lisbon for uh, five days before uh, uh, then uh, proceeding on to Madrid. Uh, Lisa is going to uh, fly on the same flight, but then she's going up to uh, Manchester, England, and then meet me in Madrid in about five days. So uh, we're checking in our luggage now. It's going to be a very, uh, very interesting two weeks. Uh, and uh, we'll keep you posted as we travel along. But now, checking into, uh, checking into Air Portugal and hopefully have enough time to hit the lounge before we board our flight. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Well, first time this has ever happened, there is a waiting list. And uh, so uh, super disappointed with the, the priority pass people. Uh, we'll, who knows whether we'll get in there before our uh, flight starts boarding which is in 53 minutes now. Super, super not happy with the Chase Sapphire Priority Pass people. Oh, here's what we're flying, Air Portugal. Let's see the tail of it there. Looking out over the Boston airport. Well, it's at five o'clock in the morning and we're disembarking from our Air Portugal flight here at the Lisbon Airport, about ready to get on to some buses, take us to the terminal. Let's go. And here we are, chilling out in the baggage area. Nice and early, not too crowded. We're the first ones, one of the first people off the plane. That's the big we got out the back door. So uh, we got to uh, passport controls and pick up our luggage here sooner than the luggage actually got So the first thing I did was actually uh, check my luggage. Uh, they have these uh, places where you can uh, put your, store your luggage for a period of time. And uh, obviously I got here super early in the morning and uh, I found this place uh, online uh, through uh, an app called Bounce and this was somewhat close to my Airbnb. So I um, came in to check my luggage and I'm going out for the day and I'll pick it up when I'm done and go in and check in my Airbnb. One of the things most interesting about Portugal is, uh, is the tile and the, uh, the stone on the, uh, on the sidewalks and streets. Every one is different, but it's uh, all over. And this is going down the Avenida Libertad, and you can see some of the design, you know, design here with the, with the rock. And uh, throughout the trip, I'll show you uh, some of these designs and uh, some of the houses with all of the tile on them. But it's just, uh, it's just uh, incredible here. You can see each design is different. Whole way, whole way down there. We'll show you a bunch. It is early morning. This is the uh, I don't know Marquez de Pombal uh, circle, traffic circle here. It's about 7:30 in the morning. It's at the end of the Avenida Libertad. And this is a quick little pan here across the big traffic circle. This is where I'm going to catch my whole whole a little later. See going down. Yeah, but still a little dark here, but uh, not so bad. We go find us a bank, get some money, and uh, then go find us coffee and something to eat for breakfast. 
So these uh, pastries are supposedly a uh, Lisbon, Portugal um, uh, specialty. So I had to try some for my first breakfast here. Hanging out on the Avenida Liberdade. There it is looking up from the big traffic circle here. Big running place. Sorry, right into the sun and looking down the Avenida. And I think this is our line for our bus, our hop on, hop off. Still here pretty early. All these, all these people here, I was told it doesn't start till like 9.20. And it's about 8.40 now, 8.45. So uh, uh, all these people are here. About ready to get on. First bus of the day. Let's see, Marquis of Bombal. More of the cobblestones. Uh, 1400 meters long and 90 meters wide, laid out in French, French stop. Certainly reminiscent of uh, the Champs Elysees. Monastery of Geronimus. Oh. <laughs> the Combat Museum. It's a Tower of Belém. Built between 1515 and 1519. It's a replica of the first biplane that flew from Portugal to Brazil. By the iconic picture. Land in Brazil. <laughs> See uh, Vasco da Gama Tower, it's 145 oh, it's meters tall. Train station here. immediately after I arrived in Lisbon, it was a great way to start my visit. I got an orientation to the city, it gave me ideas on places I wanted to explore in more detail. It wasn't physically exhausting after the red-eye flight, and because I purchased a two-day pass that included a boat tour, it allowed me to use the buses as transportation the second day, along with the opportunity to see the city from the water. I highly recommend it.